friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sigrid if this is your first time here. If you don't know me, I make videos about books because I love them and I think you should too. Today I'm going to be unboxing several Once Upon a Book Club boxes. I have three monthly boxes in one limited edition that we have all been waiting for. Um, so I saw from the boards that a lot of people was missing like this outside package and thankfully I got my outside package so okay so this is it outside of the pink wrapper um, beautiful boxes they always have beautiful boxes so I'm just gonna jump right in since I have so many to get through all right so the first thing I'm seeing is that they are continuing on with the plastic putting everything in the little plastic mailer which I'm a fan of like I will say this every single time I absolutely love this all right, so the first thing I'm seeing is that they have a Bridgerton bookmark, which looks really fancy. It looks just like the book box, actually. So next up, I'm seeing a quote print that says, I burn for you. This is like something that I know was in the show, but I think it's also in the book. All right, and then uh, their little book club kit is like in the form of like, it's, you know, the whistle or like the little magazine if you're if you never watched uh the show which is, i haven't read the books but i watched the show and on the show it's kind of like gops a girl where there's like this mystery character that gossip about everybody so that's pretty cool so there's a interview with julia quinn who is the author of the series and on the back there is a bridgerton love story challenge um so it's just using everyday items you recapture a photo and i guess tag oh you could win a hundred dollar once upon a gift club gift card that is so cool so just wanted to pop in real quick and just say if you guys are interested in getting this box i believe it is still on sale on their shop i do have my own coupon code for once upon a book club so it is black o woods 10 and you can save 10 percent since this box is really pricey that actually will save you a good amount of money so if you're interested in this, that is a great way to kind of save some money on it. So the first thing I am seeing is the first book. This is book one, The Duke and I, and it is just really gorgeous. It's pink and it's just, oh, oh my gosh, wow. So does it have pictures? So inside it has like this beautiful like little print on both pages. Oh my gosh, is it signed? I believe the first one is supposed to be signed it's not you guys know like um if you watch my unboxings once upon a book club doesn't really do signing like they they have book plates they don't really do signing and because like i think it's this one only this one is signed and that's so cool so the next book is book two this is the viscount who loved me by julia quinn well you guys know it's julia quinn of course um and then i feel like it's the same print and this one is well i don't believe this one is signed no this one is not signed the next book you get is the third one so this one is an offer from a gentleman uh book three so if you're unfamiliar with how once upon a book club works throughout each of the books you will see a series of post-its and once you get there there's a gift inside of each of the boxes that will have a page number on it so once you get to that page in that post-it it will tell you to open your gift and your gift will like bring the story to life it will be something out of the story and i just love that type of experience like it really got me back into reading um so this is like the first few books in the series and i believe next year they're going to have the rest of them so of course i'm going to get that and i will film you know once i have that one as well now i'm going to start with book one this is the duke and i so the gifts are page 402 page 244 i'm not really sure if this one is in this book or if i just open it here but it, it's something here and then for here we have page 120. oh okay so i just saw that this is for the challenge that i mentioned earlier the bridgerton challenge so whenever you're recreating a photo whenever you're recreating this photo you would need to include a picture of one of the gloves so, so here are the gloves it's it looks fancy i hope my fingers my hand can fit in here they look a little snug oh okay so it actually fits and i feel like i have kind of like bigger hands so the fact that this fits like i think it stretches to like a nice little yeah i i don't see myself wearing these in real life because i don't wear gloves but 
I guess this is nice. It's unique, it's different. You know what, let me try to recreate the picture now, actually. All right, so it's this gift. In all the years together, which Daphne thought inseparably naturally constituted her entire life, Daphne had never known her mother to step foot in the stables. You are truly an exceptional hostess. Simon says, holding out the flowers. Here, these are for you. So these are obviously flowers that Simon is given Daphne. And I, I really like that this story is like people I can like visually see because I've seen the show. So I'm thinking Simon and Daphne from the show. And sure enough, these are flowers. These are fake flowers, obviously. Um, this is kind of nice. Like this is something I guess you can put in your house and just keep, but it's, it's it has a, like a weird, like different, like texture to it. It feels weird. I don't know how else to say it. It's like, yeah, it doesn't feel like flowers, but I mean, it's cute. It's very like, this is actually really pretty to me. Nestled in the box was a stunning band of white gold adorned with large marquise cut emerald flanked on either side by a single perfect diamond. It was the most beautiful piece of jewelry Daphne had ever seen. Brilliant, but elegant, obviously precious, but not overly showy. It's beautiful, she whispered. I love it. So let's see what this so-called diamond looks like. So it looks like it's wrapped together, so I don't, I don't have to do it. All right, so opening it up, this is, there we go. I will try to put these on, but like for some reason, all of the jewelry that they give never fits on anything other than my pinky, which is why I'm so shocked that the gloves actually fit. Um, this is this is pretty unique. Like it's a nice like little square, like little like it's not teal. It's like a light blue, like a baby blue color. So it's. I just wish that it would fit on another finger because like I feel like I would wear it if it fit on any of the other fingers but like it's just it's it's not it's not going over this <laughs> so um cool all right and the last gift for this book is page 402 and in a small elegant furnished chamber not so very far from Hastings house a young woman sat at her desk with a quill and a pot of ink and pulled out a piece of paper with a smile on her face she set her quill to paper and wrote oh, this is obvious like a pen set okay so it's a pen set so it's like a quill with some ink and then up here we get different like little notches that we can change the like i guess the tip of the the pen this is really cute this is very unique i feel like it looks like a lot more pricier than it probably costs but it looks i'm happy about this one i'm really happy about this like it's it looks fancy so that was everything for the Duke and I. So let's move on to the second book, which is The Viscount Who Loved Me. He watched as her chin trembled, as her throat worked a convulsive swallow. And then abruptly she crouched down and scooped up the key. You will never marry my sister. She, I'm trying to move the post-it. She vowed her low intense voice, sending chills to his very bones, never. Ooh, what did he do, sis? What did he do? I don't know. Anxious to find out about that one. All right, so I'm sure this is the key that, you know, that they're mentioning. Uh, okay, so it's just a key with like a little thing on it. Um, I mean, it's nice to bring the story to life, but like I probably would have preferred maybe a, a necklace with a key on it just like because there's some functionality with that but like just a random key with this on it i just i don't know it's it's not gonna give me any use like i'm not gonna use it after seeing it in the story he nodded then worried he might have laid it on a little too thick just a bit of course he said of course is there enough tea left for me to have another cup he acts as nonchalantly as he could manage so obviously i'm thinking this is maybe some tea yeah, so it's like three little sachets of tea. So the first one is golden turmeric chai. Well, that sounds actually pretty good. I love chai tea. The next one is ginger peach. And the last one is breakfast in Paris. Anthony grabbed the saucer, allowing his gloved fingers to brush against her bare ones. He kept his eyes on her face, noticing the faint pink stand of blush that 
touched her cheeks. Oh, okay. Y'all having tea? Touching hands and stuff? Let's see how this looks. I'm pretty sure this is a teacup. And it is, and it's actually is intact. I was, just, I was, I'm shocked. So inside, this is really pretty. Look at that, you guys. So it's around the rim. So that's really pretty. The handle is gold, which looks really fancy. The bottom of it is gold. There's a quote here that says, ah, gentle reader, this Arthur is pleased to report, dot, dot, dot. This is gorgeous. And there's more. There's actually a saucer with it. And on the edge, it's like gold trimming. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then, I think I'll have a cup of tea. Just a smidge of tea, a little bit of sugar. You know, just a little bit, please. Not too much of a tea, you know, the caffeine might keep me up. I, I can't, I, you know, I rise with the horses in the morning. All right, this is I. This is probably my favorite gift so far. Like I, I love tea. I like drinking it, so I love that they included tea. But also, like including this, this looks really fancy. This looks like it cost a good little bit of money to make, and I just I love it. Like if you're a fan of the show, this is probably something you're going to be really happy about. We are on to the very last book. This is book three. This is an offer from a gentleman. The very last sketch was different from the rest if only because it appeared to be of a night scene and the woman in it was holding her skirts above her ankle, above her ankle, above her ankles as she ran across. Good God, Sophie gasped, thunderstruck. It was her. I can't, I have to remove the post-it. It was her. She brought the sketch closer to her face. He'd gotten the details of her dress, that wonderful magical silver concoction that had been hers for only a single evening perfectly. All right, I don't even know what this could be. Maybe the sketch that they're referring to. It's not. Wait, what? What is, see, this, this is you guys thinking this. If I would have got a sketch, I would have been like, I would definitely would have been like, as soon as I see it, there's no other purpose for it. But you guys thought to give us something that is more functional, which I am like, yes, thank you for listening to us. All right, so it looks like it's like a journal or a book. It's a sketchbook and inside it is the sketches, but it's in like a more functional kind of thing. So this is nice for someone who sketches. Now I, I'm not someone who can draw, but this I understand. I appreciate the functionality of this. I love the little details on it. It looks really classy. I love this little belt that just, it's like magnetic. So if you just, whoops. Yeah, I love that. Like it's it's really cute and it looks it looks really nice and classy. I love this. She was really just trying to make a show of ignoring him. And besides, she could only go back and read them later after he left. Your book is upside down, he pointed out. So this is a book. I wonder what it could be. Now, I will say I was a little nervous about how they could make how they could do the entire Bridgerton series in only two boxes when there's only three in this one. I'm like, I don't know how that's possible. And this is the gift. It is the fourth book, uh, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. So they, they tricked us by, kept telling us that it's gonna be three books and it actually ended up being four. I suspected it. This is so cool. So there's no gifts that is with this one. This is one of the gifts. So this is really neat. That's easy for you to say, she snapped, tugging frantically at the blindfold. You, who have everything, I had to, oh, with one wretching moment, she somehow manages to yank down the scarves until they hung loosely around her neck. So obviously I think this is a scarf, but I don't know how it looks. So let's see. So far, I have been really right with all of these. Well, except for that last one, when I thought it was just a portrait. All right, so this is the scarf. This is like a pale pink color. Oh, it's kind of cute. This like clashes with 
with whatever I'm wearing, but it has like little tassels here. It's kind of cute. I feel like it actually could be more than just a scarf. Like you could do like a lot with this. You can have it like as like a beach kind of wrap. You can probably use it in your hair to like, you know, if you know, you know. Um, and it could also be a scarf, but like, I feel like this, it's so thick and big that it could be a little bit of everything. You can even be like one of those like little wrap thingies that you put around you. Like when you have on like something like low cut or whatever, not low cut, I mean like sleeveless. Um, I mean, it's, it's okay. I'm not a scarf person, so I, I, I probably won't wear it, but I mean, it's, it's not, it's not ugly to me and it's, it's a nice gift. So I'm not mad at this one. Okay. Yeah. So those are all of the gifts for the Bridgerton box. I think that they, I think they did a good job. I, I, you know, it's not the best box that I've ever had in my life, but they had four really high quality, like super printed, like every, like, look at these, like super designed. So I feel like most of their budget probably went into the production of these books. And then they had to get at least three gifts for each of these books. Like, and I, I do feel like the value was there. I do like, a, there was a lot of, a lot of the gifts that I really liked. The only thing that I said I didn't really like was the key. Um, that's the only thing that I would change. But I, I definitely feel like the value was here. I, I really like this. Let me know what you guys think about this box. Would you have gotten it? Because um, I, I know I pre-ordered it. So let me know if you guys would have gotten this. If you like it. Like what did you? What was your favorite gift? Or what did you not like? So we're going to move on to one of our monthly book boxes. Okay. So this is pink. So I think this means that it's an adult box. Okay. So the first thing I am seeing once again is the little pocket of goodies so let's see we have our quote print and a letter from the author here the quote says courage my dear we have our little bookmark that pretty much says don't open your gifts until you've read it we have our book club kit here that has the book here cute little picture should be an interview from the author here and it should tell you the page numbers of everything so so let's look at the gifts we have page 256 this beautiful gift right here like this i don't even want to open this this is so pretty this is nice this is pretty and then we have page 213 oh i don't know what that is make noise oh then we have page 114 i'm probably not gonna like this because i usually don't like the paper gifts then we have page 310 and then we have the book itself which is sisters of the resistance uh this is by christine wells okay that stared at her intently then she lowered her gaze to the pages these are superb gabby you always did hide your light take that one gabby blurted out it's of you it was the coral dress that Yvette had shown off so well. Her waist, her waist impossibly tiny, her bosom, her bosom and neck rising swan-like from the low-cut bodice, bodice, bodice. I don't know. So this is obviously going to be a picture. Uh, so let's see how it looks. Okay, yep, yeah, I was right. Not gonna like this gift. It's just a picture. It looks it looks worn. It looks like they tried to make it look like it's old and historical. Uh, my main issue with these is that, you know, once you've read the book and you look at this, there's nothing else you can do with this, especially because it looks old, like it looks historical. So you don't wanna hang this up, like, you know? Um, I, I don't know, I just kind of feel like I, I don't like this one um yeah are you here to waste my time mademoiselle of course not please i she fisted in her purse and brought out a small velvet bag i have that's pretty much it she says i have it but it stops so let's just see what's this is obviously the velvet bag i hope it's cute i i feel like my favorite gift from them is like the purses all right so inside is what's making this noise. These are the chains. And outside, this is covered in plastic. All right, so I'm not gonna take both of them off, but this is like how it looks. And then you have 
I'm just gonna connect them. Hold on. So connected, this is how it looks. Oh wait, let me, oops. This is how it looks with the chain. I don't know how I feel about this. I, I feel like I'm excited to get a purse, but like it's this, this, I don't, I just, I don't know. It's like, I'm like, I'm like I, don't, I, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. I love the gold accent and I do love the shade of pink. It's just so lunch boxy or crayon box that I'm just, I don't know. Will I wear it? Yes, I definitely will see myself wearing this because it's a purse that I have. And like, if I just wanna add like a little thing, a little feature, but if it, is it something that I would have purchased for myself? No, will I wear it? Yes. Um, she lifted out the velvet bed from the jewel box and used a pen knife to slit open the lining, just enough to slide her small note through between the lining and the base of the box. Then she sewed up the tears with tiny stitches fitted the velvet bed back in the place and put the pearls on top of that. Here, she rose from the desk and handed Yvette the case of pearls together with the pass she persuaded the German ambassador to endorse. Okay, so I'm thinking that's a set of pearl earrings. It could be pearl anything. It could be a pearl necklace as well, but I'm thinking it's pearl earrings. I was wrong. <laughs> it is a pearl necklace. Uh, okay, like this. It's not bad. And then inside, you know, they mention a note. So this is the note. I guess it's like a code in the book. I'm not really, this is why you should read the book before opening the gifts, but yeah, there's like, there's like a series of like random things. And then on the back, there's a code interesting this isn't bad um jewelry i feel like could never be a bad gift especially because like even if it's like a cheap cheaply to make jewelry is just like one of those things that you can never have too many of i'm not a jewelry person as i've said several times but like other people i know love jewelry and i love this box it is so pretty like i love how it was wrapped so catherine bent to pick something up from the floor and held it out to gabby through a Haze of grief, Gabby looks down, a small bird stippled with diamonds, a tiny sapphire for an eye. She closed her hand over it, held it tightly, felt the pin pierce the fleshy part of the palm. So I think it's like a brooch maybe? Like a pin that you can like pin on yourself? Ha ha, a brooch, a brooch, I was right. I don't know how that looks. There we are. So, hmm. yep, that happens. Okay, so I'm not mad at this gift. I just, I don't wear brooches. I mean, I don't wear any jewelry for real, but I mean, it, it's not bad. Is this my favorite box ever? No. Is it acceptable? Yes. I feel like the value is definitely there. Even with this, with this thing, I feel like some people probably really, really liked it. If it was, I don't know if this was just a little bit different i would have just been like so happy and screaming and like just happy about it i did like the necklace i like the brooch it's okay um yeah this is a pretty okay box it's a thumbs up um but like you like i said i'm not ecstatic about that one okay so next up we have another adult box um so let's see what is inside this one so on the top i am seeing the book and this is called reset can you love someone you don't remember? This is by Serena Dolan. Um, okay. So I am seeing the little plastic. Let's see, let's see. We have a quote print. And on the back of that, we have a letter from the author. We have a bookmark. And then we have a signed name plate. We have the book club kit that has the book here there should be an interview with the author right here and then the page numbers for the gifts here and also discussion questions or will always be there as well for you guys to uh discuss things on the online group so the first gift is page 53 we have another gift on page 73 another gift on page 19 so this would be the first gift and then we have something on page 263 
In a quick move, the man in the fedora grabs his hand as if wanting to shake it. Instead, he puts a silver bangle on the angry man's wrist. Instantly, the angry man becomes as silent and still as the column behind him. His rage dissipates into the air like smoke. So it's, it's obviously the bangle that he puts on the guy's arm. See how it looks. Okay, so this is it. It's a, just a basic silver bangle and it opens up like this. So at least I would say that I feel like it would accommodate everyone's wrist size. I don't particularly like this part. Let me, let me show you guys. I don't like this. It just looks like a binder. I don't know. It just, I don't know. This is not my favorite. <laughs> Um, I do like the fact that we're getting new things such as a binder, uh, such as like a little bracelet, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you like this? I don't know. I, it's, it's not my particular taste. Something I found at the gift market. I thought of you when I saw it. Eris unwraps it and, re and reveals a small desert scape painting. Her face breaks into a wide smile. So this is obviously a painting. And like I said, I, I hate getting the paper gifts, so you guys already know what I think of this. Okay, so this is it. It's 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 a painting of a desert. It looks nice. You could probably frame it, but it's it's not no. A corner of the paper curls and a burning smell rises. She raises the paper. She needs to find that perfect place between answer and ash. Brown lines slowly appears one by one into words form. Spring flower. Hmm. Ooh, okay, I would have never guessed this. So inside it says, Psst. open the origami or crane and hover over a burning candle for the secret message. Don't get too close and do it over the sink. So this is the origami crane, or origami crane, and I guess she was supposed to burn it over the flyer. Burn it over the candle for a message. The candle is beautiful. I love this little decorative. I love this little decoration out here. I mean, it's it's just a candle, so you know, it smells really good. I I can't really. It's just. It's just a nice, like, light smell. Not Nothing too, you know, nothing too crazy. I, probably my favorite gift so far um, for this one. He opens the book and reads a passage. Suddenly, bright light shines up from the book, bathing the room white, like the inside of a hospital. She staggers back, her hips hits the corner of a bookshelf, tilting her off balance. Oh, it's a reading book like. Just charge and open. So there's some instructions here. There's like a little, you know, and it's all it's wrapped. So you have to unwrap this. Wait, what? No way. Okay, so it looks like a book, but it actually opens up. I love that sound. Does it, is it? I don't know if it's on, but I, I love this. So I changed my mind. This is my favorite. This is so freaking cool. It's a bookmark, but it's like, it's a book light, but it's in the shape of a book. That's pretty cool. And according to the instructions, it, it, it changes like the, it changes based on the angle. So 90 degree, 180, 270, 360. They're supposed to have different light colors. That is super cool. Um, I don't, I think it might be dead right now, so I, I can't show you guys how it looks lit, but that is so cool. Okay, we are on our last box. This is a YA box. So let's see what is inside. We have a bookmark, we have a quote. We have a signed book plate and then we have the book club kit and as you can see the book is instructions for dancing by nicola yoon i was super excited about this one 
So we have a conversation with the author and then on this side we have the discussion questions and the pages that the gifts are on. Oh, that is so cool. And then on here, it actually have instructions for like, I guess a dance. That is so like, the reason I'm saying that's so cool is because it's actually a book that I wanted to like, you know, read. So this is the book, so cute. All right, so the first gift I'm seeing is 255. The next one is page four. The next one is page 200. And the last one is 270. It's not a question and not an accusation, but it has a little bit of both in it. Instead of answering, I stare at her apron. It reads, kiss the cook, and has a drawing of two enormous red lips smacking. Okay, so this is obviously an apron. It's, I will use it eventually. I haven't been cooking lately, but I mean, I like to receive aprons because I feel like I don't get them a lot in book boxes. They come a few, like a, very rarely, but you know, I can't get mad at that. Like, it's fine. So it's a pink plaid apron and it says, kiss the cook. No, it says kiss the bookworm. Yes, I love that. Then it has a kissy face and then some eyeglasses, which looks like my eyeglasses. I like that. I love this like pink and I love the pink, the pink plaid. Like this is unique and different. As soon as I sit, my phone buzzes with a message from X. Just seeing his name on my screen makes me feel less panicky. X, doing okay, he asks. Uh, let's see. I take a selfie holding one of the fancy teacups. I text it to him with the caption, tea for one. So this might be another teacup and you guys just saw that we got a teacup in the Bridgerton uh, box. So really starting to like the teacups here. If it looks anything like the Bridgerton box. Okay, so it's a giant teacup. I ain't mad at it. I am not mad. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. It has like the little text message string that they were doing. And then this is the teacup. This looks really pretty. Like this is really pretty. I love this. It's like teal on the bottom with like little white dots. And then this is just beautiful. This is gorgeous. Like I would love to just like, boom. Like, you know what? This is turning out to be one of my favorite boxes. Like I just, the aesthetic of everything looks really pretty the apron looks really pretty like i would say if you had if it's still available this is probably a box i would suggest people get you want me to talk to you but you never talk to me i measure out the sugar and pour it into a bowl how many times have i tried to get you to talk to me about dad this again she says and restarts her whisking the business between me and your father is between me and your father i think it's a whisk i think it's a whisk which I'm, I wouldn't be mad if I got another whisk. I was hoping for a pink one though, but this is cute. I mean, it's, I like the little wooden handle part and this is cool. Like, I like getting kitchen stuff in my book boxes because I feel like you don't get a lot of the kitchen things. Um, so far, like this is probably my favorite box. I love all of the gifts. Like I, I can definitely see myself using all of them, even the apron. Um, we get to our first paper gift. So let's see if this ruins it, 270. It takes me barely any time at all to get to the Hancock Park neighborhood. The street when I find it is still overflowing with jasmine bushes and jacaranda trees. The little free library is still next to the big sycamore tree. Uh, let's see. I get off my bike, flip down the kickstand and walk over to the library. I don't know what this could be. So I'm I I'm just gonna be just as surprised as you guys. What? Okay, so it's a DIY little free library. Make your own little free library, and on the back it has like a thing that you can scan to I guess watch a video maybe. And then this is the um, a little plaque that you can put up there to say little free library. This did not ruin the gift for me. This is something, it's because my issue with paper gifts is that they're not useful after you've read them. This is actually really useful after you've read it. 
in fact one of my biggest like dreams is to one day like i only want to buy a house just so i can have a little free library outside like so far i've been living in apartments and if you have a house like you can do whatever you want on your property so it's like i want to have a little free library outside of my apartment this i mean outside of my house and this would be great to like have like it's a little goal of mine and everything so far, I would say that this is the winner of like the best box that is in this video. I really like this, even probably a little bit better than the Bridgerton series, actually. Like I know the books are really pretty, but like the gifts just weren't making me like super happy as this one was. Um, but let me know what you guys think, which one that you like the best. So those are all of the boxes that I have from Once Upon a Book Club. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys again with more unboxings. If you like this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and also let me know by clicking the like button as well. Um, I will see you guys next time in my videos. Until then, bye.